How's it going folks? Dave here again uh, with part two of our winter midge fly tying. Some of my favorite patterns that have been around for me a long time and have been hugely successful. Uh, this one we're going to do what's called what I call a Christmas nymph. Uh, it is a very good midge pattern. Very easy to tie, a five minute bug. Uh, the thread I'm going to use is 140 Black Danville. I'm going to use a heavy wire scud hook. The fish I'm going after are quite a bit larger and I don't want to use something that will bend out. So heavy wire 2x heavy, 3x heavy. Standard scud hook size 14. Tungsten bead uh, in silver 330 seconds or 2.5 or 2.4 millimeter will work just fine for that. I'm going to use uh, some red holographic tinsel in size medium as a little flashback. And then I'm going to use some peacock curl. I kind of like the Spirit River UV2 or a bright green uh, peacock curl. And then for the rib on the rear end of the bug, you can use either small or size brassy ultra wire. Um, either of those are about the same size and they work good. Okay, to get started, uh, I'm going to start my black thread just behind the bead and put down a really uh, small layer of thread, not trying to build up the fly in any way. I like to keep this one pretty thin. And then I'm going to go right into tying in the ultra wire silver. And I, I don't go up into the bead with it. I want to leave that space for my um, front part of the fly. And I'm going to put down a single layer of thread making sure I'm covering the wire and then I bring it right back up. And then I immediately wrap up the rib. One, two, three, four, Five is usually about the right amount for me. I'm going to tie that off. Yeah, the rear part of the fly, the abdomen, I'm just going to do about two thirds and then I'm going to leave this third up here at the front for my thorax. Cut off that ultra wire. Secure it. Then I'm going to tie in uh, this piece of red holographic tinsel on the top of the hook. Try to capture that there, a little tough. There we go. And just wrap back to that first wrap of wire. Secure that. I'm going to tie in one piece of peacock curl. And I don't want to use the butt end, it's kind of scraggly, or the tip, it's a little bit weak. So I'm just going for the center of that peacock curl. Doesn't take a whole lot. Wrap to the bead. Trim out the extra. And I'm going to get five or six wraps of the peacock curl. And then I'll hold that up and tie that in right behind the bead. Tie it off. Sorry. Make a nice buggy looking thorax. Then I'll fold over my flashback. Tie that in right behind the bead or tie it off. have to do a whip finish there. I'm just going to get one, a little one in there. I'm going to trim out this tinsel. Usually there's a little tiny piece still sticking up and as I go into my whip finish I will flip that back, tie it down, do a whip finish just behind the bead. And that's the Christmas nymph. Uh, this, this fly is deadly in the winter time in spring creeks or rivers. I uh, haven't fished it a lot in lakes, but I'm sure it's good there. Uh, quick bug. Once again, you can find this video at snakeriverfly.com. Uh, in the future, we'll have the gristle bug and the Christmas nymph for sale there as well, where you can find our videos on YouTube. Thanks for watching.